Hey, what's up, guys? Pixel Sammy here. And first of all, did you like my hair? If you like my hair, comment down below. Okay, so come into the video. In this video, I am going to show you how to use the masking tool only to cover any patches or any small spots from a video. It can be a small spot from your face. It can be a small spot from the wall or from the forest or anything else. But I am going to use only the masking tool to do this. Now, let me tell you this: the more movement your video has. The more complicated this effect will be because you need to keyframe each frame so that it covers each of the spots separately. So just to mention that the more the movement the video has, the more difficult this effect will be to make. And there is no other way to do this. There is one plugin from Pixel Film Studios which is the Pro Patch, but it is paid. The one I am going to show is absolutely free, so it is a bit more complex. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so in Final Cut Pro, this is the stock footage which I have taken from the internet, probably from Pixabay or something. So first, I'm going to copy this clip. Then I'm going to go to the Effects panel. But before this, I'm going to show you that this is the particular spot which I'm going to remove. So go to the Effects panel and search in Mask and drag the Draw Mask onto the clip. And then sample a skin which is similar to the skin color of the spot. And then just remove that portion to see you are doing it correctly. And then feather it out a little bit. Feather it and fall out. You can play with it so that it adjusts your wish. And then what you can do is, you can just change the position of the mask. Just use the X and Y from the transform panel. And just tap it over the spot. And then go to the first frame. Okay, so before this, just compound this clip. You can just increase its size just a little more so that you can adjust it later. I am increasing it around 125% or 124%. Just so that you can cover the whole portion and not just a small portion. Then compound it again. Then you can see that at the end of the clip, as it is moving, it, the, some of the portions are been shown. Go to the first frame and set a keyframe to the position. Uh, first, let me just change its size. Set a keyframe to the position. And then keep on growing frame by frame so that you can play with it. And then you need to keep on going frame by frame so that you can cover the spot with the masked portion of the clip which you have taken before so that it covers the entire portion of the clip and the spot is not being shown. And this will take some time to do this because the more movement the object has the more complex this effect will look. As in my footage the object is not moving much. So it is a bit easier for me, but in your case, this shouldn't be. I guess it shouldn't be your case because I guess you are going to use some of the complex ones. And you will see that in the later portion, there is some small shadows in the end. It is because the shadows are not matching. So at the end of the clip, you need to again sample another color. You need to again copy that clip and again compound that clip and then again set the keyframes to get the effect done. Like at the end of the, you will see a small shadow at the end. So you need to cut the clip and then you need to follow the same procedure again. Thank you so much for watching guys. Hope you have liked my video. So if you are into cinematography, photography and filmmaking and all those other stuff then my channel is just for you. And if you like my kind of stuff then press the thumbs up button. 
and if you are into my kind of content then please consider subscribing to my channel and press the red button and the bell button and with that being said if you like my head comment down below <laughs> and this is Victor Sami signing out peace out